Hey guys, Johnny here with Rock and Pop Finals, episode 62, and I want to thank you right off the bat if you guys took any time out of your day to watch my small little channel here about my uh, collecting obsession of Funko Pops, action figures, and of course, vinyl records. Hey guys, it was a busy week, so I'm going to get right into it. As a lot of you probably do know in the collecting world, it was a big week. Uh, Funko had a virtual con, which is the release of their SDCC exclusive um convention pops now uh to be honest with you all of us collectors every year get pretty excited about this we get a little nuts and uh i'm not um exempt from that i get really excited every year but this year of course as with everything in 2020 it's been kind of a um, you know underwhelming and uh to say the least the that's exactly what it ended up being. Not in the actual quantity or the quality of the Funko Pops that were released this year. There was a lot of really, really fun ones. And, um, you know, I, I only wanted a couple, to be honest with you. Um, just because I'm, I'm at that point where, um, you know, I'm not buying just to buy. I'm collecting for myself. And I'm trying to get better at that. So, I mean, like I said, there was a lot of things that came out this year. But I honestly just wanted a couple of them. Um, but the virtual con, to be honest with you, for a lack of a better term, it was a complete shit show. It really was. I mean, I was right on it this year, uh, like I have in the past with uh, certain releases. But I was really on it this year. As a lot of collectors were, they'll tell you there's a lot of horror stories out there. And a lot of people that are frustrated. Um, there's nothing we can really do about that. It is just collecting at the end of the day. And I'm not going to lose really any sleep over it or get very upset about it. But it just seemed, it just didn't seem like it was ran very well. Um, matter of fact, when I logged on to the Funko site, I found the two pops I wanted. Right, that's all I wanted was two pops. I uh, went ahead and had them in my basket immediately and immediately went to check out. Everything was looking really good. Um, it showed the little lines going across telling me what queue I was in. And then even then, that wasn't very long, maybe three, four minutes at the max. And then next thing I know, I was at checkout. That is the conundrum, and that was where the big freeze was. I was stuck in checkout for 17 minutes. Um, it didn't boot me out, and I was very reluctant to try to hit refresh or anything like that because they suggest against it, but I did. Anyway, um, for some reason, it managed to keep my um, pops in queue and took me back to checkout again, where in turn, I was stuck at the shipping process where it was... Pretty much it was saying over and over again that it was calculating shipping and that's where you were stuck um that was frustrating finally it actually took me to the checkout screen it literally told me what pops i had in my my uh cart were purchased not purchased were no longer available so they were completely unavailable after all this time i was sitting there had them in my cart ready to check out um only one pop in my cart was available and um i was able to purchase that purchase that pop um i mean it was like i said it was a complete shit show and it was very frustrating um but i did get one pop out of it it was one i wanted uh, very much so and i will share that with you hopefully next week on the next episode of rock and pop finals but i did get one and uh through my shopping adventures this week post the virtual con i was able to pick up a couple other <laughs> con exclusives or shared exclusives and i'll share those with you as well so anyway i know like i said there's a lot of us out there that were really really frustrated by what was going on with the funko site it just didn't seem like they were really prepared uh for the sheer volume that they had to uh um deal with i mean i mean and i and i i'm you know i'm not center pointing fingers or anything like that but man it, you know this collecting right now with is pretty huge like i said i'm not upset over it i'm not gonna get upset or butthurt over it or anything like that for crying out loud it's collecting and i was just actually i was just really happy that i was able to walk away with one of the uh ex, you know shared shared exclusive actually i'm hoping maybe I, I have a con exclusive that would be really cool but i'm not gonna hold my breath but with that said let's get into the episode guys i got some cool things i want to share with you that i shot for this week um of course i did a little uh post virtual con shopping and found some things out in the wild that was pretty cool that weren't part of the convention but i just had to walk away with a something else kind of thing feeling but first i'm going to start out with character cars guys i got more character cars i know i'm driving you probably nuts with this but 
I'm sorry, I had to do it. I found some cool new ones. So Target was my best friend this week when it came to character cards, and um, I found a couple that I was actually had in my basket on eBay at a slightly inflated price. That's always a good feeling when I'm able to actually find them out in the wild prior to actually making that eBay purchase. So hey, let's get into it. It's really, really cool, right up my alley. DC, all the way, you guys know I, I love my DC, but we have a Justice League Batmobile and Batman. This is an awesome, awesome piece. Awesome condition. They had just got them in, actually, which is really, really cool. They had just put them out. And uh, like I said, I had this actually sitting in uh, my cart on eBay and at an inflated price. Um, I was still kind of on the fence of purchasing it, but to get it at retail, which is uh, for these, I believe this is $9.99. So perfect. Love it. Had to have it. Okay, so we got another Batman on the car, and this one, this was actually in my cart as well, and this is the Batman and Batmobile from Batman the Animated Series. I loved this cartoon when it came out in the uh, early 90s, and I love this Batmobile. It's freaking awesome, and uh, I got it. So like I said, $9.99. This was in my cart on eBay at an inflated price. Booted those right the heck out of there because I got them at a price I wanted. So there's that. I got one more. Of course, it's in the DC line, but this is the um, 124 scale instead of the 132 scale. We got a bigger one here. We've got... This one's awesome, guys. I'm telling you, it's freaking fantastic. This is Batgirl in a 1957 Chevy Corvette. Check this out. And, of course, I say it every week with the ones with the little figure in there. I could do without the figure, but look at this car. It is freaking amazing. And this whole, I, I'll be honest with you, I want this entire set. There's a set of six back here. We've got a Catwoman with a 59 Cadillac Coupe de Ville right here. Bam, dude, freaking awesome. And then we have Harley Quinn with this 51 Mercury. That is next on my list, big time. We got Wonder Woman with a 52 Chevy uh, Co, let's see, Co pickup truck right here. Let's see if you guys can get a look, good look at that. It's pretty freaking awesome. Then, of course, the bad girl in the 57 Chevy Corvette. Supergirl with the 56 Ford F-150 pickup truck. That is awesome. I haven't seen that one yet. And then we have, this one's a little elusive. I've looked a lot of places for it, but we got Poison Ivy with the 53 Chevy Bel Air. Bam. Freaking bam. This whole set. I got to have the whole thing. I got to have the whole thing. This is the DC Bombshells line. Got to have it. So there's that. Okay, so... That is it. Not Well, I might have something in the mail call here with the, when it comes to character cards. But for right now, that's it on the character cards. Like I said, I went a little, little shopping. It was kind of like, I don't know, I needed to buy some pops. That whole virtual con really ticked me off. And I went to Walmart in search of um, the uh, Marty McFly checking his watch um, exclusive that was with Walmart. And let me tell you something that pissed me off about that. Uh, before I go crazy with what I purchased here. Um, I actually found that pop. I took a picture of it in hand, posted it on my Instagram on Monday. That's right, Monday. It shouldn't have been out on the sales floor, but Walmart, the Walmart I went to, had put it out. Put it out. I saw it. I grabbed it. I took it up to self-checkout, and they denied me the right to purchase it. Now, I get that. There's street date rules and all that, but don't put it out. That's on them, not on the consumer. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not one to sit there and call and do all that crap, which I didn't do. I gladly said, you know, you're right. I, I mean, I knew it was street dated for, you know, Thursday, but they had it out. So I took a gamble and they denied the sale. I've seen some other YouTubers and other people that I follow on Instagram that have the same exact thing happen in their towns or states and at their Walmarts. Some of them lucked out. They just said, hey, listen, it was out kind of on you and you know that store or, or whatever that situation is they were able to purchase it unfortunately with that said i went back to that walmart in hopes to purchase that marty mcfly it did not happen he wasn't available they had one available left and he was completely kicked in bummer but what they did have is they had the rest of the new back to the future series all but one and i bought them all bought them all i did i i love i love back to the future i figured this will like kind of like kill my wounds, lick my wounds a little bit from the virtual con. And that's what I did. So I'm going to go right into it, guys. These are the new, uh, this year's uh, Back to the Future line. We have Marty, 1955. 
This whole line is freaking awesome. I love everything about it. It's a seven piece line, a little bit bigger than I normally would like, but I actually like every pop in this series. Uh, the only one I think I'm missing is this Doc 2015 right there, but I managed to get the rest of the series. So here we are, Marty 1955. We have Marty and Puffy Vest. Freaking awesome. And, and this was at Walmart, so to be honest with you, I got them all in great condition. So, uh, hey, you know, I, I was stoked about that. It was, like I said, I was doing, I was kind of like doing a little, little, little cleanup shopping. But they were all there, and it was really cool to see that. So we have this next one here. This is Marty in future outfit. And his hat is really shiny. And uh, he's got, like I said, that future outfit. So there's that. We have Doc Brown with helmet. Like I said, this whole series is freaking awesome. I love everything about it. Love Doc. Just got to get the next Doc, the, the Doc 2015, and I will have completed this series. And of course, we can't have a good series without a good bad guy. We have Biff Tannen. Bam. Like I said, awesome set. Biff Tannen. And the last one that I was able to get from this set is... Marty with glasses, with his groovy Walkman. So, like I said, really cool set. I was really happy to get this. And, you know, it, it is what it is. And it, I really have a lot of fun with these con weeks, uh, especially, you know, traditional con weeks, minus everything that's going on with the virus and everything like that. Um, I would have been out like crazy trying to buy. And uh, that this isn't the, the world we're in right now. And, 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 you know, and to be honest with you, I can't pick on Funko. Kudos to them for making a cool attempt for the fans to uh, get those. And they did, they did the best they could. They really did. So, anyway, there's that. Okay, so guys, I got a mail call. I got a few items. I want to get into it really, really quick because I think I have four items. And I, you know, I try to be really efficient with everything that I show now. So, uh, okay, so this is from Amazon. And um, I don't remember what's in it, to be honest with you. So... Let's get into it. Let's see what we have. I'm sure it's something, you know, oh, you know what? I'm trying to think about it. This might actually be a character card. So let's, let's see what we have here. Okay, so Amazon, ooh, actually provided some cool pillow packing. And, oh, yes. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so it is a character card. It is a character card. It is the 124 scale, just like the Batwoman one there or the bat girl and this is iron man when a 2016 chevy camera guys this is oh this car is so awesome ready for it ready for it and it's got the little figure but oh look at this car check this out freaking awesome And they have the Spider-Man and they have the Black Panther like in Hypersport as well in this scale. But I also have both those cars minus the figure in the smaller scale already. I might go back and pick it up in the bigger scale. We'll see. But uh, man, this is freaking awesome. So there you go. So there is that. Guys, I'm going to take a second just here real quick because I just realized that my uh, record here is skipping. I'm going to give it a little bit of an attitude adjustment. All right, there we go. Okay, so freaking awesome. Love that Iron Man car. I mean, that is freaking fantastic. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have uh, Amazon again. This is really, really, really light. So I'm guessing this is probably a pop for sure. So let's see. And like, I, I had an interesting mix of stuff coming in this week. It was mainly character cars, mainly pops. Um, a lot of newer stuff that's coming out and of course uh, oh I can see right through this one so we got another pillow pack so hey at least Amazon's trying and uh, this is one matter of fact, this should officially complete my new Masters of the Universe line we have the Sorceress there we are so I have officially completed this line it looks to be in really good shape um, now this line is an eight piece line right here you can see on the back now, I officially technically have all these now. The only ones I don't have in my possession yet is the web store. I did a pre-order on him with um, 
Hot Topic a while back. Still haven't got him. I'm kind of surprised about that because I've actually seen him in stores yet, but I haven't received him yet. So, um, and I also have a 10-inch Skeletor that I ordered from Galactic Toys. That one's starting to concern me a little bit because he is pretty much everywhere now. And I, and I have no other pre-orders with Galactic Toys, so there's no reason for me not to have received it. Um, I keep on going and checking. It's saying it's there, and, but it keeps on saying it's also unfulfilled. So, like I said, they're not in my possession yet, but they have been pre-ordered and they have been paid for. So we'll see what happens. But there's the Sorceress. Freaking awesome. Love Masters of the Universe. Stoked about that. All right, we got two more here. Actually, three more here, but we'll get through. We're good. This is actually an eBay purchase. I've been really active on eBay as of late because I've been finding a lot of really good deals and I've been getting them from really cool collectors who really take care of their stuff. That's hit or miss sometimes, and as a collector, that's a gamble we take with eBay. But uh, like I said, I've had some really good luck here. So we got some good packing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So we got another character card, and this is literally in the same vein. This is the. 132 scale Iron Man Chevy 2016 Chevy Camaro the exact same car I just purchased just the smaller scale and of course minus the little figuring but I just love this car that's how my bad I really had to have this I had to have both scales and yeah so yeah freaking awesome freaking awesome so that'll go per that'll be perfectly displayed I'm, I'm actually I mentioned it in the last video that I'm actually right in the process of building a new studio space and that's going to be downstairs in my house and uh i'm chipping away at it made a huge huge um um dent into it last week i'm going to try to do a little bit more this weekend and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed i'll start filming next weekend but we'll see um, i'm going to flip this really quick because we're at that point in the episode where i gotta flip this bad boy and let's turn not do it that way the felt came off so yeah, there we go. All right, so flip that over real quick, and we'll get right back into it. So, like, like I was saying, I'm right in the process of finishing that down there. I'm not. It's coming together really well. It's just baby steps because I, um, I'm incorporating a lot more. Like right now in this set, this is mainly a lot of my pops that I have, but I'm going to incorporate a little bit of everything of my action figures and pops. I'm going to have a lot more space to play with, um, to play with light. And anyway, I have a section that I'm building down there. That's going to be strictly for my character cars that I have. And yeah, so anyway, that will be in the next cup, couple of weeks. So, all right, let's get into this package here this is uh this is another e, uh, ebay purchase and i believe this should be another character car um i did do a lot of character car purchases on ebay because i was finding a lot of ones that i can't find at target or walmart now target and walmart the thing i've noticed with them not any like literally not any one or other store has the same ones Certain ones have a lot of Marvel ones, certain ones have a lot of DC ones, certain ones don't have either. They have like, you know, Fast and the Furious cars. So no one, there's really no cut and dry what's there. So by going on eBay, by going on places like OfferUp, I've been able to kind of like um, look around a little, little bit. Even Amazon, I found a few on there. So hey, it's been pretty good. But eBay has been kind of my champion here when it comes to the character cars. So, okay, cool. So we have another 132 scale here, and this, yeah. <laughs> oh yes, all right, so Batman, DC, we have Batman with the Batmobile from the 1989 Tim Burton movie, and this will actually bring me to a complete collection on this set, so I have all of them. I think last week I opened the 66 uh, series one, and right here in this video alone, I finished it off by opening the other three. So, um, but this one was a must have. Like I said, this is the 1989 Tim Burton Batmobile, Batmo Batmobile, so Batmobile, and Batman. So, there you go. Remember, I think I, I think it's even this week. I think I have as many character cars as I do Funko Pops, and I don't have any action figures this week. All right, so this is the last package we have from Hot Topic. And a matter of fact, I got this in the mail today, so that was pretty cool. Um, I think I know what this is. I just recently did a pre-order with them, but this is uh, their shipping out of California um, with OnTrack, which is uh, 
with uh, that's that's their uh, one of their carriers like UPS, but it's called OnTrack. And I've noticed with OnTrack, um, you literally get your package the day after they send it was shipped. And of course, I'm in Arizona, so I got a little bit of a you know the proximity thing to California. But OnTrack, for some reason, every time I get a notice that something's been shipped and they're using OnTrack to deliver, um, it's here the next day. So that's what this is. I got my notice yesterday, and here it is. Just like that. All right, so we got two pops, and of course, Hot Topic has been really good. They have they haven't sent me anything in a bag for a while, and of course, we have our good sorters. And uh, oh yeah, I'm excited about this. This I I I really want this entire line. It's it's going to be a big line. They've already got a pretty good sized line now in this first wave. They've already advertised a second wave in this line, and I'll be honest with you, I want every single one of them. I never say that, and I'm saying it now. I want every single one of them. But this is their new Pixar, Disney Disney Pixar remix. This is where they're taking the alien from um, Toy Story, and they're uh, putting him in different situations or, di or different characters, as, as I should say. And all of them are fun. All of them are blast. This is what Pops is, really should be all about, and I love it. So here we are. We have Alien dressed as Dory from Finding Nemo. Dude, freaking awesome. And this is, like I said, this is a big set. Like, this is an opening set of eight. They have um, nine four inches, and they do have a 10-inch Woody where the alien is dressed up. Right here, we can see. There we are. And we have uh, him dressed as Buzz Lightyear, Dory. We have him available as Carl, Dot from Monsters, Inc., um, Zerg. We have Doug. We have Russell. And, of course, like I said, we got a 10-inch Woody. Now that I did pre-order and that will be joining my starting to ever grow crazy 10 inch pop family. So there is the Dory one. The next one here, following along suit with the Toy Story, of course Alien, but actually playing apart from Toy Story, we have Alien as Zerg. And these are in fantastic shapes too. This is like, I'm telling you, this is such a fun line. I can't wait to share when I get all these. Uh, and matter of fact, I, I kind of dropped the ball. I was upset at myself about three weeks ago. And I'll get I'll make it really quick. I had this entire set in my Hot Topic checkout box, including the Woody 10, um, the 10 inch Woody. I had five, six, seven hot cash, and they all actually applied to that order. I could have got the whole entire order shipped. Shipped for $56, the entire set. And, of course, I sat on the fence. I was like, oh, I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I finally was like, okay, I'm going to purchase it. $56 for the entire set. Go to purchase. So I reopen my account. Boom, click on the cart. Guess what? Every single one of them was completely sold out. Missed it. Screwed. Um, yeah, so I didn't get any of them. I wasn't able to use my hot cash on them. I used my hot cash. Don't get me wrong. I shared some of those uh, finds with you last week that I used my hot cash on. But, mm, like I said, I could have had the whole thing for 56 bucks. These ones I bought at full price, these two. So I bought these at $12.50 each, including full price on the 10 inch. So these with the 10 inch shipping and everything, it was like 70 bucks. I could have had the whole thing for 56. I could sit there and whine about it, cry about it, but I'm not going to. I'm just sharing my pain of being indecisive. Sometimes it gets me in trouble and you know, like I said, I could have had the whole freaking thing for $56. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this week's Rock and Pop Finals. Thank you for checking out this channel. Thank you for bearing with me and my crazy obsession with uh, collecting. But it could be worse habits. And uh, yeah. So guys, if you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, click that bell down below so you can get future notifications about any videos that I make or drop. And I, like I said, I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys uh, next week. Bye.